What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Weakness Policy Dragonite team alongside with Life Orb Metagross. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. Considering I just checked my analytics and 40% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel, which means 60% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So if that is one of you guys, make sure you support me by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that subscribe button. It really does go a long way and it only takes two seconds of your guys' time to support my channel and me as a content creator. But back to this video and back to this team. This team right here was actually sent in by my boy Clover Bells. Clover Bells, shout out to you for dropping this team. If you guys want to drop me teams, make sure you head down to the link in the description below. There's a link to my Instagram page. Or if you guys just want to search me, my name is legit right below my face cam. But Clover Bells is another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content, so I'm going to be shouting him out. Link to his channel is going to be down in the description below. Make sure to go follow him, check out his videos, drop some likes on him. He makes some awesome team and some awesome content. But getting started with this team right here, we got Dragonite in that top left corner inner focus ability so we cannot be flinched and we cannot get that attack drop from intimidate we got the weakness policy item so once we get that proc we can get dragonite rolling out here we got breaking swipe and fly both for stab brick brick take out screens and use as an attack boost when we are dynamax protect as his final move Confi's going to pair really well with Dragonite, considering we can proc Weakness Policy with Draining Kiss. We can heal him up with Floral Healing, and then we have Trick Room to counter it, or if we want to pop out a Trick Room as of our own, and that Ally Switch as his, uh, not his ability, as his final move, protect ally Pokemon. Metagross is in the middle with that Life Orb and Clear Body. That's what I really like about this team. We have two great abilities with our two physical attackers. Our Dragonite has Inner Focus, our Metagross has Clear Body, so Intimidate is just not a problem with this team. Life Orb as his item, Iron Head, Stop and Cantrum, Rock Slide, and Protect, normal moveset for this guy. Feramosa right next to him with that Beast Boost ability, Focus Sash as his item, Close Combat for a stat move, Ice Beam for a coverage, and then we got Coaching and Speed Swap, which is going to pair well with our Dragonite and Metagross, considering they're both physical attacking, so we get a defense boost and a physical attack boost with Coaching, whichever one we want to go into, and then Speed Swap to get that amazing speed from that Feramosa and swap it over to one of our heavy hitting Pokemon. Bottom left corner is going to be Incineroar, a great Pokemon on any single team. Intimidate and that Safety Goggles as his item. And then that normal awesome move set of Flare Blitz, Parting Shot, Fake Out, and Taunt. Final Pokemon is going to be Regilecki with that Magnet item and Transistor ability. Electro Web to slow down. Thunderbolt for our stab attacking move. Screech to actually get that defense drop. So that's going to pair well with our Metagross and Dragonite. And then Protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Weakness Policy Dragonite and Life Orb Metagross team. Recently, your boy's been on a heater. We went back-to-back -back videos, going 3-0, grabbing ourselves a perfect record. We're looking to continue the streak and get a perfect record in today's video and that win streak, trying to keep it rolling here. We're going into battle number one, going up against a Glacier team alongside with Galarian Zapdos, Porygon 2 to set the trick room, Spectre, so we got double horse problem. We know that's going to be a tough one. Grimmsnarl and Garchomp. All right, so with this play right here, I'm going to go with Comfy and Dragonite. I feel like that's the play, considering I can proc weakness policy, get effort that way, and prevent a trick room with Confi. I also want to bring in Incineroar. Oh, I gotta watch out. I'm bringing in Incineroar for that uh, Intimidate, but then he has Defiant uh, Defiant Galarian Zapdos, who's looking a little scary. But I think we should be fine. And then final Pokemon, I think Metagross. I feel like that can rock out. I feel like we can, keep, we can catch a dub with that and keep our win streak rolling. But guys, let me know for question of the day. If you guys can make any ability in Pokemon Sword Shield or any Pokemon game, what would it be and what would it do? For me, I would love to see like an Intimidate, but for special attack. I don't know if that would be too broken. Not too sure why they haven't added that already, but I would love to see that. So let me know in the comment section down below your guys' answer. But yeah, we're on like a six game win streak. If you guys haven't checked out the past videos for Pokemon Sword Shield, definitely go check them out. He thinks I'm leading in Cinema. Nah, yeah, we ain't doing that. I'm gonna lead Dragonite Coffee and get rolling from that. He probably does have Snarl. We do gotta watch out. I cannot go for that attack drop, so no warm wins coming out from me. I think we're just gonna go for a Draining Kiss, Procker Policy, and then Dynamax, and go for an Airstream. That sounds fine. That sounds real dandy. Get a speed boost here. Take out Glaring Zapdos and roll from there. Looking real good. Looking real good. But yo, dude, this team right here looks so nice. Like once I saw it, once Clover Bells actually sent me this team, I was looking at it, I was like, dang, dude, I haven't used Dragonite in forever. And then I saw the Metagross on, I was like, ooh, baby, yo. Two sick Pokemon and then Feramosa on the side to pair well with it. And Confi's always a great support mine alongside with uh, Regilecki and uh, Incineroar. He's going to end up withdrawing this Athos. And who are you going to go into from here? Grimmsnarl. I'm fine with uh, him dropping Grimmsnarl. I wonder what he's going to do with the Spectre here. 
He's gonna end up Dynamaxing it. What are you doing, kind sir? What do you want? Your boy's been on a tear. I'm ready to take this guy out. I'm ready to just maul through these battles. Hopefully, I, you guys already know, I'm always looking for that winning record. Perfect record, just extra, but we're looking for that winning record. You guys already know that. Dragonite, getting that Dynamax. We got Max Airstream coming through. And this could potentially take out the Grimstone. I think it might. If it's not Sash, but I, I don't really see it being Sash. Get that policy proc, baby. I love having inner focus on him. For Intimidates, but... Oh, you buttery biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Yo, what you mean? Hit me with that burn. I did not see that coming. Airstream comes through. Gonna neglect a lot of damage. A huge play by him. Huge play by him. Setting off the burn. Gets that speed boost. He's probably gonna set up like a reflect or something. And what's that? Eject button or leftovers? You know, eject button out. So who are you gonna go into? Are you gonna go back into Zapdos or are you going to show your uh, final mod? Let's see what he does. He's gonna go on the Glacier. Which I'm totally fine with. I think I just drop a Wyrmwind and start dropping attack that way. And he might actually end up Dynamaxing that. So we'll just see what happens here. I might just ally switch. I think I am gonna ally switch. Just start dropping Wyrmwinds. Trying to get that uh, attack drop. Yeah, that's my plan. That is my plan. There's no way you swap into uh, Zapdos. That would be a play. That would be a huge play if he swaps into Zapdos. Yeah, he's going to end up Dynamaxing Glacier. We're going to go after a Spectre on this slot. The Spectre is their support mon. And we're going to ally switch and dodge his uh, Max Hailstorm. That's our play. That is our play. And we're going to get minus one on him, which I really, really like. Which I really like. And I wonder if he's reading. I wonder if he's reading the ally switch. Or maybe just going after the Confi. Just to get that KO and get that boost. There's my lovely little ally switch. I might swap next turn to get Intimidate off while we can. I don't want to uh, do with Defiant. There goes the plot. Oh, yo, horse is setting up. Yo, double horse is dirty. Double horse is real dirty. Let's see what happens here. Here goes my warm one. Come on, show me some big damage. Show me some big damage. Oh, my lord. All right, I think we're fine here. I think we're fine. We do do some nice damage to him. We get the attack drop. And if Confi survives this, Confi survives this shot, we should be chilling. Which I think Confi should be fine, right? He's minus one, yeah. So now I can go into a draining kiss, take that thing out, and go for another worm one. Or do I not go for another worm one? What's my play? Oh, Buffett's take him out. Oh, yo, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so Buffett's take him out. I can ally switch. I could just go for a full healing. Really depends what I want to do. Is he gonna bring back out? Uh, is he gonna bring back out Glaring Zapdos or Grimstorm? I think Grimstorm might come out here for some screens. But I really want to get another minus one attack on this thing. I'm gonna go out in the Grim Snarl, so I think I just uh, swap for Intimidate. Right? Or do I just ally switch again? He's not rocking ally switch. I, th I think we just go after this. I think I just swap. I think I just hard swap now. We have the safety goggles, and I really don't see him swapping the Grim Snarl or anything. And we get out in Cinnamor right now. Because I, I don't want to get out in Cinnamor later in the match where that Defiant gets boosted and then he wins the battle. I think it's going to be a good play for us. Let's see how this rolls out. Intimidate coming out here. Wonderful play. He does not swap. We get that attack drop on both of them. He is now minus two. And maybe, maybe he thinks I'm going for that ally switch. Fake out comes out here. No, he's going to drop a Hailstorm on me. But again, he's minus three now to this warm win. Loving this. Loving this. How much damage are we doing? Not too much damage. I can see him swapping out next turn. And bringing out the Zapdos. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Might bring back out the Confi. Or do I really want to? Let's see what his play is. Yep, there's the Hailstorm. Still. Oh my. Oh. Oh my damage. What do you mean? We got speed all day. Unless this thing's rocking Sucker Punch. We got speed all day. But dude, that did so much damage for minus three. I know he's a physical attacker. Unless this thing's rocket special, not a shot though. Um, I could go for a brick break. I could drop attack again. If I really want to. I can drop attack again. I really don't wanna Actually, what do I wanna do? I could fly. I might do. I think I'm gonna fly over onto the Grim Snarl slot and then Maybe just drop a flare blitz? Is he orbed? What is he? Hmm. What does Jeans wanna do? I think I'm just gonna parting shot. He's got he's not orbed, right? So I'm thinking he's policy. Big dog gotta be policy. I'm gonna parting shot. 
The glacier is the glacier is a big problem. Let's see if we can get this parting shot off. Fly out of here. We dip in. We're gonna fly high. Dip out. And I think we just get back out Comfy for this turn. Yeah, let's just get Comfy back out here for this turn. Because I can potentially just floral healing. And I know Grimstar is not rocking protect, so that's a solid that's a solid move by me. I still have the Metagross in the back. Which is good and bad, considering, you know, that boy, uh, that, that dang bird, that defiant bird over there can be super effective up against him. Spirit Break comes through. Dragonite avoids it. Max Up comes through. Oh, you doubling? He doubled up like a clown? There's problem. Yo, smart. Yo, what a, what a play by me. I'm curious if I can throw a healing here. Dragonite, oh my god, he's down to four. He's down to four. Um, so he's gonna, he's gonna drop the buffets and, and burn here. Let's can I like can I floral healing him? Uh, what do I want to do here? I don't want to get some HP back. Hmm. I don't I'm I'm don't want to risk it. I do not want to go for floral healing onto uh Dragonite because it might miss. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna go for a draining kiss over on Glacier. And I think the Flash should come out here and take out the Grimstone easily. Let's see what happens here. Draining kiss comes out here. Give me some HP. Give me some HP. The Glacier is down on attack hard. What is it? Minus five? Minus four? Up there. Fly comes through. Later, Grimstone. Get him out my face. Get him out of here. And this Glacier going for the, the Glacier Lance. Oh, he just has Ice Wheel Crash. So who's he going after? Go after Dragonite, please. Go after Dragonite. He does go after Dragonite. Wow. I would have just let the Dragonite go down to a burn. Or to buff it. Chilling Nettie is going to boost him up. I want to see his stats here. Uh, what is my play, though? What is going to be my play? Get some slow Pokemon out of here. I think I'm going to go Metagross, and I'm going to get after that, uh... That bird. I might just Alex switch this turn. We're rocking out pretty well here. I think I just drop an Iron Head onto the bird, and, uh... Roll from there, because the bird is going to be fastest. I love calling it just bird. <laughs> it's just the bird. The Ostrich bird. Zapdos finally comes back out. We gotta watch out for Defiant. That's why I want to get rid of him right now. We go for a Rock Slide. Rock Slide's not bad here. Do I drop a Slide of Rocks? Let me try to get a Flinch. It is only, it's super effective up against him. Now nah, I'm just gonna Iron Head it over onto him and just uh, Ally Switch. Oh, I can Trick Room. Now Trick Room would benefit him in that Glacier. I'm just gonna Ally Switch here. Hopefully he doesn't make the read. Glacier's gonna protect. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Protect. Go ahead, Protect. Alice Switch coming in here. I think he's going for, like, a fighting move, trying to get after that Metagross. But I think it's going to hit the Confi now. Go Peck coming through here. Who's he going after? All right, yo, well, that's easy eats. That's easy eats all day. I can Alice Switch again. That has the Life Orb. I'm telling you, that Glacier has that, uh, that policy, man. And I could just go for a Draining Kiss and, uh, take that thing out, right? Draining Kiss should do enough. Your boy's tearing it up. I'm tearing it up lately. Yeah, Draining Kiss should do enough, and then Iron Head should come over here, do a decent amount of damage, maybe pick up the KO, maybe not. We have the Life Orb on this mod, so we're doing a lot of damage here. That's going to be super effective. We played that one really well. After we took that burn from Dragonite, I feel like we just outplayed him from the beginning. Right after that burn, he looked like he looked like maybe he had a little something going, but then I was just like, nah, let's go for the stat drops, get in my Incineroar at the right time, parting shot out so I have him for the back, and we're fine. He cancels the battle, and the win streak continues. Hopping into battle number two, looking to go back to back here. First battle went just as planned. Second battle, looking for that win. We're going up against a Dragapult team alongside with Urshifu, Regilecki, Landorus, Clefairy, and Incineroar. So this is like a meta team right here. Like I feel like I've seen a team similar to this like thousands of times on the rank ladder. We went with, we went with the Dragonite and Comp combo last battle. I kind of want to go into Faramosa and Metagross. Maybe start coaching up. That could be pretty solid. Hmm, he does have Intimidate, but again, we're clear body on the Metagross, so I just don't see the problem there. There's that Urshfu, which I gotta watch out for. Uh, will Intimidate be big? Yeah, Intimidate could be big. Intimidate could be lovely for this team. Then I think we just go Dragonite in the back. Right? Dragonite's looking good. I'm digging it. I'm liking this. Let's run it. Let's run it, baby. I wonder who he's gonna lead. Go with that Dragapult and Clefairy combo, which is so deadly. This might be a team to lose us our win streak. I'd be real upset with it. And he has the same exact training card, but mine's a little bit cooler. Because, you know, your boy doesn't change his training card, and that's like a Jeans staple on the channel. My training card. Everyone's like, change it, Jeans. I feel like a lot of people stop asking because you guys know I'm not going to change it. 
But he goes to Incineroar and Urshifu. Clear by is going to rock out here. Um, do I coach? I think I coach up, get that defense boost. Dynamax, get another defense boost. I don't roll from there. Bad jeans, not bad. Intimidate. But he can go for a wicked blow, which is kind of scary. Not going to lie. Go for the Quake. I could go for the Rockfall. What do I want to do? Do I want to change weather? Start getting buffets out? I don't want that defense boost. I feel like the Steel Spike would be better. But I know Pharamos is going to be the fast on the field. We're going to Steel Spike, get a defense boost. I am just going to coach up. Are oh, going to coach up. He's probably going to fake me out, to be honest with you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's coach up. Pharamos, he's going to always want to withdraw the Foo of Urshas. He's going to go out with Lando, which, yo, I'm totally fine. What are you, going for another Intimidate? Like, I'm clear body. I am clear body. There goes that. Are you faking me out? Let's see what you do. Let's see what his play is. Hopefully he doesn't fake out. He's probably going to fake out, but still. I'm fine with that. We'll get a defense boost here. I don't see Incineroar. No, yeah, he can't take me out if he's going for a fake out. I'm, I'm Sash. If you go for Flare Blitz, I'll Sash up. And I'll get a coach off. Dude, Shiny Metagross looks awesome, too. He's one of the cooler Shinies in this game. Let's see. What's your move, Plunk? Fake out. Ooh, like, I didn't see that one coming. There's the fake out. That's totally fine by me. I'll coach next turn. I know I'm really fast. There's a big defense boost for the squad. And do we get how much damage we got? Easy KOs, baby. Easy KOs with this team. I knew this team was going to be fire. I knew it was going to be amazing. Defense boost for the squad. Run it. Run it. We eat it. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. We show our life for it, which is totally fine. Big old damage. Uh, do I speed swap now? No, I feel like I just coach up again. I feel like co I coach up and just keep defense boosting. We know he has some big physical attackers in here. Magilecki's going to come out here. I might quake here and just take him out. I could rock ball. Rock ball's not a bad play here as well. Um, I wonder who his Dynamax Bond's going to be. That's my question. It's probably going to be that... Uh, Hmm. It's probably going to be that uh, Incineroar, so I I'll actually target that down now. I'm not really worried about him. So who do I have here? I have Incineroar. Oh, maybe I should take him out. I can definitely get him next turn. I'm going to coach here. Let's coach up. Get that attack boost. Make sure this Incineroar goes down. And he's going to Dynamax. I, I think Incineroar is getting the Dynamax. I went with the Quake because I know Regilecki's special attack, and I could have went for the Rockfall. I could have went for the other one. Oh, and he is going to Dynamax the Regilecki. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Say less. Say less. Can't hit hard with Lightning. But I'm hoping both these Pokemon survive one more turn so I can Speed Swap. It's going to guard. Yo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, this dude guards. It is over with. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Coach up, attack boost, defense boost. Quakes can come through here. I think this picks up the KO with that life orb damage. Well, it's not stab, but still. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm a speed swap next turn. Then I'm a quake into you. Get this dude out of my face. Hey, yo, I'll outspeed you. I will outspeed you. This team, bro, is so nice. Awesome combos you can go into. Faramosa pairs well with Dragonite and Metagross. Confi pairs well with that Dragonite. So you got so much variety you can go into here. He brings out Urshfu. I'm speed swapping. I can see a close combat rolling in here soon, but we're going to be able to outspeed and get some big damage off onto the Fragilecki. Let's go into that speed swap. Give me your speed, Faramosa. So I think we can outspeed the. Uh, oh, we do not. That's crazy talk. Lightning comes through, but we eat that, right? Okay, we got a game. He gets a crit. No, dude! What you mean? Oh! Uh. Boy, that's how we're that's how our win streak ends? Oh come on. Come on. Oh, that's disgusting. Are you kidding me? That's how they gotta slow your boy down. Is a critical hit. We had a special defense boost too. We had a special defense boost, but the crit goes right through it. Oh dude, that's such a shame, dude. It really is. We were looking so good. That was an easy win. And, oh, dude, he gets a crit. Get out of my base, dude. Get out of here. It's over with. He's going to one-tap up on my Dragonite. It's just GG's. He can crit with Wicked Blow all day. That intimidate doesn't matter to him. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I think I just fake out. I think I just dropped a nice little fake out. And do I go for the Brick Break? Might as well. 
Might as well try to get off his map. Actually, I'll go for a fly. Do I go for a fly? No, he's, he's gonna take me out. It's over, man. It's over. We'll be better. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll try for a fly. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Fake out. Bang. I mean, I flinch. And there goes the lightning into Dragonite. Game. Game, like I said. Like I said, it's game. Are you kidding me? Come on, guys. Do I really count that as a loss? You guys know we were buzzing there. We were getting ready to win. He gets a lucky crit and wins himself the game. I just gotta run. It's over with. It's GG's, dude. It is GG's. I'm gonna run this one. GG. We got one and one so far. We're gonna hop into our third and final battle and look to get that winning record. I don't even know what to say about that last battle. Like, come on. How does our win streak end on that note? Like, we buzzed that game. I feel like we did everything right. This dude lands a crit and one taps my Metagross. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. Trying to get that winning record. We're going up against a Swift Swim King Jokeem. Alongside with Galarian Moltres. Raichu. Uh, he also has uh, Rillaboom and Incineroar combo. So, very strong team. I think we might go back into that Metagross. Hmm. What do I want to do? Because I can speed swap and get some decent speed here. What do I want to do? And I feel like Metagross would be a little bit better than the uh, Swift Swim Kingdra. Or than the Dragonite. Because Swift Swim Kingdra can just outspeed and take out my uh, Dragonite very easily. Uh, who do I want? I think we got to bring in you for Intimidate. And then Regilecki in the final spot? Yeah. Let's bring my boy Regilecki. My boy Regilecki's got to get out here. Let's run it. Let's try to coach up. Try to get some speed swaps going. And try to get ourselves this win in this third and final battle. But guys, check out this hat. Where's the, where's the little logo at? Right here, into the AM. If you guys have not checked out that brand, I'm sponsored with them now. Link down in the description below. If you use that link, you get 10% off any of their merchandise on their website. And if you guys have to use the code, I believe my code is just jeans. Straight up, J-E, J-E, yeah, J-E-A-N-S. How did I, like, stutter on that? <laughs> it's my name. I know how to spell it. But, yeah, they have awesome clo awesome clothing for the summertime. Definitely go pick these guys up. Something for summer. I wear my stuff out all the time. They sent me some clothes. It's very comfortable, high quality, and it looks great as well. So support me as a content creator and get yourself some new summer look. But it goes in with the Raichu and the Glarian Moltres. Um, I think I just... Easy Dynamax, right? Right? Easy Dynamax, drop a rock. Or do I Quake? It might fake me out. Wanna do what do I wanna do? Yeah, hmm. I think we'll try to coach, right? I mean, we'll drop the rock because I know that thing is actually a uh, I know that Raichu is probably sashed. I'm gonna try to go for the coach, it's special attacking, but so I would love to get this attack boost on a Metagross. And we're gonna Dynamax here. He's not Dynamax the bird, so I could see a swap of the bird or maybe even a protect. Let's just see his play. I think he's going to fake, fake out my Faramos, right? Or hopefully he goes after my Metagross. That could be awesome. That could be dope. What you got, fool? What you got? Got to be going for the fake out, right? Let's see. Is there it is? Is that the fake out? Yep, that's the fake out on the Faramosa. Bop. He's probably just going to take it out. Let's see if uh, we can get rolling here. What's he going to do? He's going to plot up. Oh, yo. Thank you. Thank you for plotting up. I'm dropping a rock on you. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I'll coach up next turn. Get out my game. This should take out easily. We are orbed as well. So, extra damage. Still. Get him out of here. Get going, dude. Try to set up a nasty plot on me. Not happening. Anytime I see a Galarian Moltres, I usually, like, zone in on that thing. I'm like, that thing is a, an insane Pokemon and super strong all around. So, let's just get rid of that. Is it, could you imagine if I went after that uh, Raichu there? That could have been bad. Him setting up a nasty plot and having Dynamax ready for Galarian Moltres. Would have been awful. Buff has come out here. I think I'm going to coach or do I speed swap here? Really depends what Pokemon comes out here. Because I know I can take out Raichu easily even without an attack boost. Let me Polyton. He's going to change up the weather again. Uh, which is totally fine. Hmm. I think I might speed swap here. I think I might speed swap here. And get off this. Yeah, get a special defense boost. Especially because I know now that he has Polythode that the Kingdra is going to be the last Pokemon. Maybe I should drop the Rock. Nah, I, I, I think Special Defense Boost is going to be A-OK -okay for us. We might want to do another one here as well. Or I might just want to change up the weather one more time. Because that could be huge for us if we change up the weather. I think that's going to be... I think that's the play. Speed Swap here. Take out the Raichu. 
get that special defense boost, and then my last Dynamax turn, change up the weather. Because if I take out the Raichu here, he cannot change up the weather un unless he goes for a There's my speed swap. Give me your speed. Give it to me. I'm now the fastest, Raichu. Get out of my game. Get out of my face. Not dealing with him. Out of here. Get him gone, yo. Dude, the combos on this team are phenomenal. They really are. They're so good. There goes my special defense boost. Uh, I wonder what Polytoad's doing. Polytoad, what are you doing, Concert? Just scalding or something along those lines? Let's see. Hypnote. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Polytoad's rocking out with hypnosis. That son of a gun. He's just going to come out here. There's no point of coaching. Um, we should probably just go into like an ice beam or something. I mean, we can change up the weather. We'll go after Polytoad. Who do I have in the back? I do have Regilaki, who's really good. I do have Incineroar, who's not good. <laughs> um, what do I do here? A speed swap back? I could, but let's go for close combat. Try to get off the, uh, get going onto this Polytoad. He just definitely Dynamax here. Just, just, it's an obvious, obvious thing. This one's gonna be close battle. It really is. It really is gonna be a good battle. Considering I can see Kingdra just wiping my team. He's just really strong Pokemon. But I'm glad we were able to get off the special defense boost. Make us make ourselves a little bit bulky. Maybe we can waste out these turns and then have Regilecki come out here and clutch up. So how many turns does he have left in ring? Three? Probably his whole Dynamax, right? Yeah, because he just had Poly. Make a move, dude. Make a move. He Kingdra's faster, right? Yeah, it should be faster than the Feramosa speed swap. Let's see. Yep, there goes the geyser. He's gonna send the rain. And who are you going after? Metagross? You going after my Metagross? You are indeed. That's easy eats, baby. We eat up all day. Shows his orb. Metagross is still slumped. And Polyto, what are you doing, kind sir? Well, Feramosa outspeeds that. Nice. Close combat comes out here. Solid damage. I ain't gonna lie, solid damage. And if Polyto goes after Feramosa, Feramosa will go down. Has a citrus berry. Hey, you knock it off. No berries allowed here. No berries allowed. <laughs> I thought this was a no berry game. It goes scald. Fairmost is gonna drop this. Our defense is down too. Oh, I thought we were gonna live on like one. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, do I save Incineroar? Oh, I could go Regilecki. Hmm. Hmm. What, you, what do I want to do here? I'm gonna go Incineroar. I'm gonna go Incineroar here. Take out the Polytoad. I wonder who he's gonna go after here. I really, I am curious to who he's going to go after. I mean, I can't get an easy swap here. I'm really curious who you're going to go after. I need you to wake up here, Metagross. Because what's your speed at? He should be faster than Metagross, right? He's not. Polytoad probably going to outspeed him. He's going to fake out the Polytoad. Let's fake out the Polytoad. And do I, mm, I can't take him out with that. I think we just drop a slide of rocks. See if we can get buzzing with that. Let's fake out the Polytoad. Toad, you're getting faked out. That's plan, yo. It's going to be real close here. Because he's going to take out a Pokemon here. His choice. Who does he want out of here? Metagross wakes up. That's beautiful. Rock slide comes through. Connects. Take out the Polytoad. Yes. All right. We get rid of the Polytoad. We get a crit. I think we were taking out regardless. That was going to be close. Polytoad's gone. Get him out of my game. And now he has a choice here. Now, who's your choice? Who are you going after? Metagross or Incineroar? Metagross would be the better choice. He does go after Metagross. Metagross is out of here. So it's one more Dynamax turn. I really don't want to protect. I really do not want to protect. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go for the parting shot. Get that attack drop. I think I'm so curious who he's going to go after. I gotta go for the Thunderbolt. I, I I have the parting shot on this thing. Go after my Incineroar. I need him to go after my Incineroar if I if I have a shot at winning this game. Maybe I should have protected. it. Nah, there's no shot. There's a T-Bolt. Like I need if he goes after Incineroar, we win this game. If he goes a worm win. Oh, he's going after Vegelecki. Eat it, eat it. Oh my lord, no! No! He gets that attack drop. Yo, smart play by him, and we're gonna end up going one and two for today's video. Dang, man. All three of our battles were really good. All three of our battles were awesome. Do I have protect on this thing? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. If we have protect on this thing, maybe we can make something happen. 
Because the rain is just too deadly for us. It really is. Do I protect on you? I do not. Mm. I'm just gonna geyser and take me out. Boyer Blitz it is. Boyer Blitz it is. <laughs> gonna rock out here. Go for the Flare Blitz. Miss your Hydro Pump. I'll put a little bit of spell on you. It's like our only way, I think, now. He has to miss his Hydro Pump. Go to protect the Regilecki. Well, here's my little spell on you. I am minus one. This is going to do nothing. This is going to do no damage. I need you to miss. That, that's what it's coming down to. Dude, we played so well in all three battles. I feel like this team is really, really good. We just lost the last battle by legit a crit. Muddy Water comes through. Okay, this thing's rocking out Muddy Water. That's good KO, right? Eat up. We eat. We eat. Get a crit or something. Get a crit, yo. Take out here. Do him dirty. Come on. Do him dirty. Yeah. <laughs> like a half of HP there. That's GG's. And someone was damaged by recoil. It's over with. It is over with here. I would have protected Regilecki. Would we have won that? Maybe. It would have been a lot. It would have been real close. It would have been real close. Here goes the Draco Meteor. Connects. That's GG's now. 100% GG's. Dang, man. Three battles today. Went one and two. Got a losing record. But, yeah. I feel like we showed off this team to full fullest potential and should have got a winning record or even better a perfect record even though we got a losing record i still feel like this team is one of the strongest teams i used for series 9 all around it was amazing we got some awesome combos with the dragonite and comfy or the Faramosa and dragonite which we did not get to show off but you guys get the premise but that metagross and Faramosa combo is also a great one for this team but guys that is going to be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out everybody